and welcome back to episode number 7 of this tutorial series on Raspberry Pi for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. In the last tutorial, we built a circuit with an LED and a resistor. Let's now see how to use the LED from the Raspberry Pi using Python code. Now that we have correctly set up the hardware for the LED, you can now put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi, you can power on the Raspberry Pi and then you can connect to it again using VNC, for example, like I'm doing here, or using directly a monitor. And open the Thony ID here, okay, like here with programming and Thony Python ID. And now we are going to make that LED blink. So using Python, how can we actually uh, use the GPIOs or can we actually put a mode to a GPIO and how can we actually set a state high and low? So we are going first to do import, okay, rpi.gpio. So r and p uppercase i lowercase dot gpio. So that is the module we are going to use. And actually because the name here is quite long, Okay, we don't want to use that name every time. What we can do is use as, and let's put another name, GPIO. So we import that module as that name. So when we use GPIO, in fact, we are using that module here. Okay, and the first thing we need to do is actually to do GPIO.set mode, okay, to set the mode for the entire GPIO pins okay because there are actually different ways to name the pins and to put number on the pins so if we don't set the mode maybe when we call for example gpio 17 then it's not gpio 17 that will be called but another pin so to be sure that we use the gpio numbers like you can see here on the screen we are going to do gpio.set mode and inside gpio.bc M. So GPIO set mode GPIO BCM should be the first thing you do okay, after you import the GPIO module. And then we are going to do the last line first is GPIO.cleanup. Okay. This will okay, this will clean up all of the GPIOs. So if you set specific modes uh, for GPIOs, then everything will be back to uh, what it is uh, in the default mode, okay, which can also prevent damages done in your board later on. So for now, our program has three lines. Okay, we import GPIO module, we set the mode for the GPIOs, and we clean up the GPIOs. And all of the code we are going to write now will be between those two lines here. And now we can actually set up our LED. So first, let's create a LED pin variable, okay, which will be here 17. As you can see on the screen, we use GPIO 17. So I'm using a variable here because we are going to use that number 17 multiple times in our program. Okay, so by using a variable, you just need to use LED pin and then if you ever want to change the pin or use a different LED, then you just need to change the number here and everything will be updated in your program. So now I'm going to do gpio.setup, okay? And the first argument will be the pin number, so LED pin, which is 17, the GPIO 17, because we use the GPIO BCM mode. And then I'm going to do gpio dot out okay so you can have gpio dot in for input pins and out for output so we just set up the gpio 17 and we say that this is an output pin so we want to write to that pin okay we don't want to read from that pin we want to write to that pin actually what i can do here is maybe put the variables here on the top of the program Okay, and then I'm going to do, so the LED is set up, the GPIO is set up, but 
the LED will not be powered on. And actually now to power on the LED, what I can do is GPIO.output. Okay. I give the pin. So the GPIO number. And then I give a state. So either GPIO low or GPIO high. GPIO high will basically power on the LED. So because I have set up the LED to GPIO out, now I can use the output on it. So what's happening here is first we set up the uh, GPIO to output, then we power on the LED. And because we do nothing else, then the line 11 will be executed. So all GPIOs will be cleaned up, which means that the LED will be powered off and the pin, so the GPIO 17 here, will go back to its default state. So what we can do here is actually do time.slip1. Okay, so we can wait one second before uh, the GPIO cleanup is happening. And because we use time, we also need to import time. Okay, import time. Because this is a module, we need to import the module so we can use it. If you don't import time, you will get an error on this line. Okay, so now we can do, for example, GPIO output LED pin with GPIO low. Okay, and actually let's run that script. So let's name it LED. Okay, and you can see the LED is powered on for exactly one second and then is powered off. So uh, this line actually here is not necessary because the GPIO cleanup will do that for you. Okay, just to show you that you can uh, toggle the LED between high and low. So if you want to toggle the LED multiple times, for example, you can do time.sleep1 and then you can put it back to high and then time.sleep1 and that will make the LED blink twice. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, as you can see, the LED blinks twice and you can continue like that. But of course, as you can see, we are not going to use that structure if we want to make the LED blink a longer time. What we can do instead is, so we have set up the LED. What we are going to do is while True. So we are going to create a while loop and inside that loop, we are going to use that code here. So what you can do is just select the code and press tab. That will add an indentation. I'm going to remove that. So while true, we are going to put the GPIO high. So power on the LED, sleep one second and then power of the LED, sleep one second, and then we go back to line 10 and we continue. This is an infinite loop that will continue to power on and power off the LED. Okay, we can run that script now. And as you can see, the LED is blinking, great. And now if you want to stop the script, you can just here click on stop and as you can see when i run it again i have a warning okay but the program is still continuing why do i have this warning is because when we actually killed the program here when it was in the while loop the program didn't have the chance to go to line 17 and to clean up the gpios so you will have this error for example, this channel is already in use and only because you didn't clean up the GPIO the last time you used them. So actually with this program, this line won't be executed and we are going to leave it like that. And we are going to solve that problem in a later lesson in a following uh, section. Okay, so to recap, you first import some modules. Okay, so you can use them. You create a variable to store the pin number or here the GPIO number. You set the GPIO mode to BCM so you can use GPIO numbers in your code. 
then you set up the LED pin to output and then you can actually use a wire loop to blink the LED between high and low states. If you already used Arduino before, well, you can see the similarity with an Arduino program and this is basically the same thing as the blink LED example you can have on your Arduino. Just this time written in Python code with the RPI GPIO module and with the Raspberry Pi. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full complete course on Raspberry Pi named Raspberry Pi for Beginners. This course contains 10 hours of hands-on video lessons. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.